Hello chess lovers. A few days ago I published Mitrofanov's famous chess puzzle. You can view it as well. And showed that Stockfish and Komodo chess engines were having problems in finding the solution. A lot of people criticized me saying that I didn't give the engine time to think or uh, like I have to change the hash table parameters and so on. And here I decided to do like uh, I was asked. This time we have another puzzle. I won't analyze the previous one, although Mitrofanov's puzzle is very beautiful, but I think that this one is much more interesting. Probably the most beautiful one I have ever seen. But let's first make the NG think and then I will tell you about this puzzle. Here we are. As you can see, stockfish parameters are set to 2048 and let's press to infinite analysis. Uh, the engine is thinking incorrectly, thinking that black is winning. But let it think. Okay, there is an obscure mythology about this puzzle. There are stories of Tal having received an anonymous letter in pre-1986 of a lorry driver having composted it. Gufeld said that since nobody has yet claimed to be the inventor of the study, he proposes that it dropped in from outer space. But more likely here is how all happened. In 1987 a strong international tournament was being held in Brussels. A lot of chess stars were there, like Karpov, Kasparov, Nigel Shore, and Mikhail Tal was also among them. Engine is still evaluating the position incorrectly. Okay, let's go on. And in one of press rooms, Jim Plaskett, a British grandmaster, set up this intriguing chess position. All the masters were stumped except for the greatest Mikhail Tal, who stared at it for 10 minutes then went for a walk in a nearby park. An hour later, after some fresh air, the wizard from Rigor popped back in and immediately played the correct solution on the board. A variation so subtle and beautiful that it stunned all who witnessed it. So, what is the true origin of this puzzle? The best we can determine it was invented by the Dutch composer Gies van Brukelen sometime around 1970. Instead of publishing it, he merely showed it to some friends and being so incredible, it found its way through the grapevine into Grandmaster circles. By word of mouth, it found its way to Spassky and later to Plaskett. In 1997, Brukelen finally decided to publish it in the Dutch chess magazine Shaken Nederland. Let's wait a bit longer and then we'll go on with analyzing. Ok, it has already passed 5 minutes and still no result. You can see that still Stockfish 8 is evaluating the position incorrectly. By the way, I tried the same with Komodo 10 and again the same result. Let's now stop the engine and let's analyze it together. First, let's discuss the obvious. Black has so much extra material that white has to finish things up neatly or lose. If you promote your pawn to d8 queen, sorry, let's switch off the engine again, okay, then knight f7 is losing. The initial check on c2 is fruitless for after king g7. There are no more checks. 
If white wastes time, black will play bishop a5 to cover the queening square on d8 and black is just winning. The winning line for white begins with knight f6 check. Knight g7, if for example knight h8, then this is simple, you are promoting your pawn with a check. If king goes to g6, there is a bishop h5 check, and if you take, again, white is promoting with a check, and if king goes to g7, then d8 queen, and your square on f7 is already protected by a bishop and there is no fork at all. So after knight f6 check, the best move for black is king g7. Now comes knight h5 check. If for example queen f7, then you are already occupying your f7 square and there is no check and fork on f7. I can just promote my, my pawn to a queen and this is winning. King g6. And now comes another excellent move by white. Bishop c2 check, forcing black king to take on h5. Now comes the point of this jockeying. You are just promoting your pawn to a queen, allowing this knight of 7 check. King goes to e6, knight takes d8 check, and now an amazing king f5. Notice how black, although still ahead of a mountain of material, is about to get checkmated with the lonely bishop. Now the threat is bishop d1 check and after taking on e2 it's checkmate black plays e2 and now comes bishop e4 you can't promote your pawn to a queen because there is a checkmate on f3 so black promotes his pawn to a knight and here comes another amazing move can you find it? Bishop d5 looking for another square for a checkmate c2 and bishop comes c4 again if you promote your pawn to a king queen sorry there is a checkmate on e2 check and then like this you are checking on e2 and this is a checkmate so again, black promotes his pawn to a knight, protecting this square on e2. Look at black with his four knights. It's just unable to prevent a checkmate by a single darting bishop. In this position, bishop goes to b5. Threatening check on e8 and whatever you play, just a random move, for example, knight e2. You can just check on e8. Knight goes to f7, covering the king, but simply taking, and this is an amazing checkmate. This is much DHS hours. Comments, please. What do you think about this puzzle? And it will be interesting to know have you ever met any other chess puzzle that computers choke on it?